Hello and welcome to ChiefTutor.com. I thought we'd do a video on tray ceilings. Uh, this is a specific unique tray ceiling that you see here. I thought we'd try something fun like that. So right now I have a simple box. I've done nothing to it, man. Just nothing to it. Let's go ahead and take a look. Look inside and say, yeah, that looks like it's nothing. Okay, so I know my ceiling height in this room. If I double click it, I can open up the structure tab and tells me it's eight feet tall, just so I can understand the distance. So let's make the tray ceiling. First thing I'm going to do is with the room selected, I'm going to go over here and make my room a polyline. I'm going to hold down C as in cucumber and hold my cursor while I'm holding down C over one of my grab handles. And I'm just going to bring it in to where I think I like it. That sounds good. Then I'm going to come down here and use the chamfer tool or the fillet lines. Same thing. If you select it one time, you'll have the option to set your fillet radius. I'm going to set mine to 50. Yeah, that, that sounds good. Now well, let's go 60, just because I like to live on the edge. Okay, I'm going 60. I click OK, and then I'm going to hit the pin because I want to do this multiple times. So I'm going to select that edge. Um... Select that edge, select that edge, and select that edge. This edge. There we go. Might be kind of intense, but there we go. I'm going to hit space bar. Now I can grab this guy. Now I'm just going to turn the radius in <clears throat> to where I like it. That sounds good. It's pretty gnarly, pretty unique. So I'm pulling that guy in. And, um, okay, looks something like that. Now I'm going to select the room, do the same thing, make it a polyline. And I'm going to come over here to Convert Tool, and I'm going to convert it to a countertop. Click OK. On the countertop mode, I'm going to make it 6 inches tall, and I'm going to put it up at about 93 inches high for the room. Remember, the room is 96. Click OK. Then I'm going to select this guy, <clears throat> and I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to convert it to a countertop. But this time, I'm only going to choose it to be a hole in the countertop because we want this to cut out the hole for the countertop. Click OK. One last thing we could do is go to the Opens tab. And the reason why I wanted to make it a countertop is because if I go to the Moldings and had New, I can select a nice little molding for it. Crown molding. Let's see. This guy looks good. And let's make him 6 and 6 because we know the height needs to be 6 to fit that uh, molding trim well. And click OK. Then I'm going to go to my camera tool, stand right about here, and look towards the corner. And we can see the chamfer in happen. I'm just going to use my eyedropper to pick up the drywall and apply it to my countertop. And now I have a nice little, you know, radius chamfer dealy going all the way around. What do you think about that? All right, all right. One last thing that might be fun. Let's put a can light here. I'll put a couple more out here. Take my camera just back up a little bit. Go to my ray trace. Say launch assistant, indoor, highest quality. Yeah, let's make it 800. So generate a little faster for my machine. No focal blur. Everything else looks good. Hit ray trace. And bada boom, bada bing. That should come out with a nice look. Let's see. Uh, whoa. I get that to the side. There we go. And we'll put that over there. We'll kind of put this in here so we can see it ray tracing. That's kind of cool. See how it light, lit up? That, that, that can light on the top kind of lit up the upper atmosphere. <laughs> I can even put some can lights down below and light up the lower part as well. But you get the idea. Thanks for watching. This has been Messing with Tray Ceilings here at ChiefTutor.com.